I think these tenants here are durable and will persist and outlast technology and trends as they go by. So some of those bring to mind like digital twin, but it doesn't say digital twin. Uh, one of those brings to mind a service-oriented architecture, but it doesn't say it doesn't say ESB, it doesn't say microservices. Right. But but these are these are tenants that are not specific to any of today's technology. They could be replaced tomorrow by by subsequent technology, but the tenants will continue to hold true. MES is one of three linchpin manufacturing systems shown on the slide here. And e each one of these is absolutely critical. The important thing is the thread, because the thread is what makes the digital twin valid at every step of the process. And it doesn't stop when it flies, it goes on to, you know, sustainment, repair, and overhaul. The, that ability to have a life cycle thread from the time it's designed all the way through when it's retired, that's where the power is. We're looking at what I call human augmentation, which is how are we going to supplement the solution uh, and supplement our workforce with a, a way to automate, augment, where the context is, is low, where the uh, repeatability is high, and when the affordability is, is okay. present. Quality, data visibility, procedural enforcement, one, two, three. What this slide shows is how those things actually transmit into benefits. Let's just imagine that we have like the best IoT, you know, everything is feeding everything, right? We're, we finally arrived at that point with our complex district manufacturing. You know, we, we're getting all this data pumped. And then we have this marvelous AI that is so intelligent and so all-encompassing and understands all the context. And at that point, yeah, it can make decisions for us, right? Otherwise, we need an MES, which is where people put data and people make decisions. An IoT platform is not an MES. And strictly speaking, IIoT itself is its the industrial internet of things. It's a network, it's plumbing. In and of itself, it is not an application. It is certainly not an enterprise level application like a manufacturing execution system. It's something we'll definitely want to integrate with our MES. And at the corporate level, we've launched a future enterprise program and we didn't calculate an ROI first, right? We saw yeah. this as a strategic imperative. It's digitize or die. Yeah. Right. Okay, so we didn't wait for an ROI, yeah. we moved out. Yeah. So uh, we do have to create the, the holistic business case. It will include an ROI, but digital transformation will play a significant part of that. All right. Good answer. Thanks. Because that's, I think that's really what's going to drive it for a lot of companies.